Hello, I'm Roshan, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Auckland, New Zealand. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot 403 access denied errors when you try to access objects in your Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket. Let's get started. Check bucket and object ownership settings. First, let's check whether access control list is turned off. Sign into the AWS management console and then navigate to the Amazon S3 console. Navigate to your S3 bucket. Under the Permissions tab, check the object ownership settings to make sure that it's set to bucket owner enforced. If object ownership is set to bucket owner enforced, then ACLs are turned off. Please note that if ACLs are turned off, you can go directly to review bucket and IAM policies. If object ownership is set to bucket owner preferred or object writer, then ACLs are turned on. If object ownership is on, let's check if objects are owned by this account or by a different account. Run the list objects command to get the canonical ID of the object owner. If the canonical IDs don't match, then another account owns the object. The object owner can run the put object ACL command to grant you full control. Or you can enforce bucket owner ownership and turn off ACLs where the object resides. Open the Amazon S3 console and navigate to your bucket. Under the permissions tab, change the ownership setting to bucket owner enforced to turn off ACLs. Check bucket and IAM policies. Next, review your bucket policies. Open the Amazon S3 console and navigate to your buckets permission tab. Check for explicit deny statements that override any allow statements. Deny conditions can block access based on factors such as IP addresses, virtual private clouds, or encryption requirements. For example, if a deny statement restricts access unless the request is coming from a specified VPC endpoint, then users outside the specified endpoint are denied access. In this example policy, the specified VPC endpoint is VPC-1A2B3C4D. Also, check your AWS identity and access management policies. Let's head to IAM console and navigate to the user or role. Make sure that the IAM policy includes all required permissions and the ARNs are correctly formatted. If you are accessing the bucket from a different AWS account, then you must configure permissions on both the bucket and the IAM policy. Check VPC endpoint policy. If you are using a VPC endpoint to access S3, then open the Amazon VPC console and navigate to the endpoint section. Select the endpoint and review its policy. Make sure that the policy allows access to the bucket and necessary S3 actions. Also check any S3 access point policies if applicable. Check KMS policy. If an IAM user has full permissions to an object but still can't access the object, then check whether the object has AWS key management service encryption. To check the object's AWS KMS information, use the Amazon S3 console to navigate to your object. Then check the object's properties tab. If the object is encrypted with a customer managed key, then make sure that your IAM policy or the KMS policy includes the KMS generate data key and KMS decrypt permissions. If you have a cross account setup, then verify that both the KMS key policy and the IAM policy have the permissions. Check service control policies and resource control policies. If you use AWS organizations, then check your service control policies or resource control policies to make sure that they don't block access to S3. To check your SCPs and RCPs, open the AWS Organization Console. In the navigation pane, choose AWS Accounts. You will see a list of all accounts in your organization. Choose the account whose SCPs or RCPs you want to check. On the account details page, 
choose the policies section and then scroll down to SCP section or RCP section to see attached policies. Review the policies for any statements that deny or limit access to Amazon S3 console. So now you know how to troubleshoot 403 access denied errors when you try to access objects in your S3 bucket. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.